So let let me review for you what happened in uh, with this. So uh, as as you guys know, there's been a, there have been a lot of issues with Amazon. That that's a big statement. A lot of issues with Amazon in a lot of areas for a very long time. Jeff Bezos is a maniac, and um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's to put it like yeah, think. <laughs> so he doesn't treat his workers well. Amazon doesn't treat their workers well. And the workers are starting to fight back and yeah. Amazon doesn't like it. So they do not like that. No, not at all. So folks like um, Christian Smalls, who is fantastic. He stepped up during the early times of COVID. And, and he was saying, uh, you guys are not doing the right things. You're not keeping us safe. And I, he was a manager or supervisor of some sort. And he was pressing and uh, trying to get, you know, the, the powers that be to adhere to safe practices. And they just would not. And, and so he ended up being fired. And since then, he's become a real voice fighting for other Amazon workers. He is, was based out of the Staten Island, New York location. But when I was visiting Tina in LA, what was that October, or September or something? Uh, October, that was October. Yeah, so he was actually there and we right. marched. It was cool. We were like, uh, well, the protesters were, were chanting, eat the rich down uh, Rodeo Drive, yeah. <laughs> which was uh, an interesting which was awesome. dynamic. Honest, was awesome. <laughs> so he was at that. Um, and then we had all of our cell signals and every live view and dead right in front of Jeff Bezos' right, yeah. mansion in Beverly Hills. Interesting. So, uh, so that happened. So anyway, a, a lot of workers have been rising up. A lot of supporters have been rising up to help these workers unionize and get the conditions that they deserve. So one of the, or the spot that got the furthest with unionization has been Bessemer, Alabama. And Bessemer is a place where there are not a ton of jobs around. It's like a, just a pretty isolated area. And so Amazon means a lot to the people there as far as like having having a job um of course the people believe they they need to be treated well and so they people attempted to to unionize and amazon fought back in really disgusting ways yeah they really um are. it's it's not a surprise that a corporate uh, comp you know, a, a corporation would would push back and, and use like union busting tactics, although there are like laws that they're supposed to adhere to, et cetera. That doesn't seem to mean anything when you're Amazon. They did the, the typical thing, like they were changing um, traffic light or they have the town change traffic light patterns so that um, those with signs couldn't effectively like get talk to people in their cars as they waited to turn into the um, right. the, the, the campus and they would, they were posting signs in the bathroom stalls yeah. and they did so much to try to convince workers to not join the union or to and not. And their ultimate the tool, union. Jen, their ultimate tool was threatening them with losing their jobs. Like you said earlier, this is an area that doesn't have a you can't just go around finding another job, right? So the ultimate weapon for them was threatening them with the loss of their job and saying, if you unionize, that will be the end of your job. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is a huge threat and really scary for people. I think so. Especially I mean, right now. I think, I think it's an incredibly effective uh, tool to weaponize, if you can, for, for, for sure. an employer. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so they, they did a lot. And uh, thankfully... There, there's been a lot of good reporting that's come out of this. And yeah. one of the, the best is kind of a new, um, a new organization or new reporting, uh, wh whatever you would call it, a new media company called More Perfect Union. So yeah, they've been doing great coverage on this. Absolutely wonderful. So media that empowers working people that's how we build a, a more perfect union. So their reporting is, is focused on labor. And uh, just just I'm really impressed with everything they do. So they've they've focused on this on what is happening in, in Bessemer. And so we reported 
uh, or um, emphasized their reporting. We, we kind of passed along their reporting, which was shocking at the time. Now it's even more shocking or uh, maybe not shocking if you expected this after all, but they had, Amazon had uh, coordinated this illegal but special deal with the USPS to install specialty ballot boxes for the union vote. And of course that was very shady. And very there shady. were a slew of uh, ballots um, that came in at certain times all at once, which didn't seem right. Um, it, it just, there was a lot that wasn't right with these ballot boxes. So fast forward to now. <laughs> and so breaking as of a few hours ago, breaking an Amazon worker just testified to the NLRB that he witnessed two Amazon security guards open and search the union ballot drop box after his overnight shift. They had it open for a minute or two. Seemed like they were searching it for something, Kevin Jackson said. So you're probably not surprised by this, but this is now uh, a, a, someone has testified to this with their name, which is huge. Right. And that person is taking a huge risk, like an enormous risk. That's That takes balls, like kudos, kudos to that person, Kevin Jackson. Um, so these, these two security guards allegedly opened and searched the union ballot drop box, which is obviously not okay. And Amazon installed the ballot drop box in Alabama in direct violation of NLRB orders. Jackson told the NLRB that he saw Amazon security carrying keys around the mailbox multiple times. I've seen the security go out several times, locking and unlocking it. Wow. Yeah. As more perfect union reported, emails subsequently showed that Amazon pressured the USPS to break its own rules to install right. the private ballot drop box. So that was reporting back in April. Yeah. And they had copies of the emails that they posted. So yeah. Yeah. So those are, are the copies. So uh, today is day six of a series of NLRB hearings into accusations of illegal union busting by Amazon. We've documented several of the serious charges. They could result in the union election results at Amazon's Alabama warehouse being thrown out. Right. And so uh, election. Yeah. So uh, as you're probably aware, the union, you know, Amazon won. And people were very disappointed because they thought the Bessemer could be kind of the start of something, like a chain reaction of good things to come for workers in this country. And Amazon won. And so now, now that these shady things are being brought to light, even more so, what will happen? Will it be enough to show that that Amazon um, stacked the deck, or will they, you know, be powerful enough to persevere no matter what? I'm thinking they'll get, get they're going to get their second election. I don't know. What are your thoughts? I think they'll probably get a second election, only because of brave people like that, Kevin. Yeah worker like that uh, if, if people and the weren't emails are very attention, yeah the emails are really damning if, if these whistleblowers were not as as uh, brave as they have been it wouldn't happen and and that's right. the thing these workers amazon has tried to intimidate them like crazy they've tried to intimidate uh christian smalls like crazy they've uh, they've done a lot of really damning horrible things that should put amazon like out of business which is impossible because they are they rule everything from the internet to like if amazon's internet services go down like everything goes down because everything runs on amazon servers now and like they don't just sell us books and groceries they sell us everything like they run everything maybe it's the case that if they do get the second vote hopefully the people that did vote no that were tricked by the propaganda of Amazon, 
maybe they'll see. They'll see, oh my gosh, look what Amazon did. They lied. They messed with everything. So maybe these pro-union people were right. And Amazon, like they created these really glossy looking brochures. They created these right. websites trying to make it look like you're throwing your life in the toilet yeah. if you vote yes on this Absolutely. union. And we're giving you utopia if you vote yeah. no. So maybe they'll, maybe the people who voted no will, will vote yes. Their website is now taken down now, right? Did anyone? Yeah, see it? it's, it's on, it um, it's on the archive, like the web. Okay. Archive, yeah, so. It was amazing. It's real. It's real, really something.